Um, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, we've got a room full of lawyers here. Um, JP is the only justice position that a, a, a law degree is not necessary. Is that correct? I'm seeing lots yes. of nods. Paul mentioned it. He's a lawyer, and he, he, he had a good, a good, good talk about why it was important. And, and if he wants to say more, that's fine. But I'd also like to hear from the other two women um, uh, about not having uh, a JD and being a justice of the peace. Not that you need it, but you know, Paul. Paul says it helps. I, I, well, why don't you speak first, Paul, and then we'll we'll let them respond. Uh, sure, absolutely. I, I think it's a very important qualification. For example, I don't, uh, as far as I know, you don't have to be an accountant to be county treasurer. But I'm pretty sure most, if not all of us, supported Daphne Tenorio. And one of the reasons why is she's an accountant, right? And that helps with the position. This is a position that comes into contact with the law every day. And in order to practice in front of a justice of the peace, you have to be a lawyer. And so I think it is so important to have people who have legal experience and legal training and who are familiar with what it's like to actually practice the law because if you're making decisions that are affecting people's rights, that are affecting the way people live their lives, affecting their property, you should have the training and the experience to know that the decisions that you're making are the right ones and that the effect that you're having is something that is appropriate under the law. Something else that I think is really important is these courts are not courts of record. And by that I mean there are no um, court reports. There's no visual recording, there's no audio recording. So a lot of what a justice of the peace does is not on the honor system, but it's something that's not recorded and reported like other courts. So you wanna make sure that you have somebody in that position that you can trust to make the right decisions because the amount of oversight that there is on other judges does not exist in that court. And I know that some people think that all a justice of the peace is, is um, you know those death inquests, investigating deaths and weddings, but it's way more than that. It's truancy, it's traffic court, it's other class C misdemeanors like possession of drug paraphernalia or minor assaults. It is so many things, it is warrants, it is bonds. And again, I know I've said this like three times, but you want the person making those decisions and doing that with you to have the training and experience of legal analysis to apply to those decisions. Okay, thank you. Um, I have a question, ma'am. Wait, wait, hold on, can I let the other two answer that question? Yes. Very quickly, they need to answer that question now. I'm gonna to come to you. Um, Amanda and Dre, I'm sure you've got something to say, you can learn all that, right? Go ahead, who wants to go? Okay, can you please repeat the question? Um, well, it's, it's the whole idea about, do you think a, um, a, a, you know, should you be a lawyer, basically, to be justice of the peace? You don't have to legally, but would that be? I do not think you need to be a lawyer to be justice of the peace. Um, the majority of the JPs in Hayes County are not lawyers. Um, and I think that there's a reason for that. Uh, do I agree that you need to have a legal education? Yes, if you are uh, appointed or elected, you receive education on how to fulfill your duties as justice of the peace. But I think some one of the reasons you are not necessarily need to be a lawyer is because they want not only lawyers, they want people who are active members of the community who care, who come from different kinds of backgrounds that might not necessarily be law school. Um, it could be a nurse, it could be a legal assistant, it could be a teacher, um, because I think you know you need a vast variety of backgrounds to deal with these type of things because it's more than just knowing the law. 